It's one of the nation's favourite drinks, but it's been making headlines recently after some experts claimed that it can harm our health. That's despite it being made of just water and carbon dioxide. So is sparkling water really that bad for you? Well, Angela Rippon investigates in this week's Truth or Scare. It's a sound most of us recognize as soon as we hear it. It sounded like a bottle opening that. If you're in need of a drink, it's a good sound to hear. It's very satisfying. It's like a kind of hot weather, yeah. like in the park. But is that familiar and rather comforting sound? of a fizzy drink being opened, likely to lead to a very expensive trip to the dentist, because um, that's the question that's being asked in some headlines, not just of soft drinks, which is what you might expect, but of the, uh, the rather more innocent bubbly pleasure of sparkling water. Yes, these articles claim that it's the fizz in drinks which could cause harm to your teeth. Which is why even sparkling water is described as harmful. But other articles disagree, suggesting the risk is minimal. And certainly on the streets of Manchester, people weren't sure what to believe. Honestly, I have no idea if sparkling water is any better than uh, Diet Coke. I guess it, I'm sure it is because it's not got sugar in it, but uh, I'm sure it's still not great for your teeth either. But it's not that pure as we probably would assume it to be. It's strange because it probably does the same thing as fizzy drinks, but I don't think of it in the same way. I've come to meet Dr. Anup Nandra, a dentist with nearly 20 years experience, to see what his opinion is of sparkling water on your teeth. So the, the fizz is, is made by injecting carbonated acid into the water, and it gives you the bubbles. Now, when that hits your teeth, it has a, a lower pH than a, a neutral pH of 7 and causes something called acid erosion of the enamel of your teeth. The pH scale is one way to measure how acidic something is. Around pH 1 is stomach acid, so very strong. 7 is not acidic at all, like tap water. And it goes right the way up to 14 for something extremely alkaline, like drain cleaner. So, where on the scale does sparkling water sit? Well, you'd expect it to be slightly more acidic than tap water, so it'll most likely come out lower than pH 7. But equally, it shouldn't be quite as acidic as a fizzy drink like cola, which can be found at around pH 2.4. To find out for sure, we're testing five popular brands of sparkling water sold across big supermarkets. Their pH levels will be measured by a senior lecturer in physical chemistry, Dr. Mauricio Cafiero from the University of Wolverhampton. So we're going to see what we actually get when you open it and you're ready to drink it, what the pH is at that moment. Okay. All right. We can start with our Highland Spring. And you hear the sound immediately, don't you? So yeah, so that carbon dioxide is leaving it. You can see the bubbles rushing to the top as the carbon dioxide leaves. And we take our first measurement. It's going down, 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 down. Ooh, down. And we're settling down in the fours. 4.6 is where it's ending up. Oh, and this one has a lot. Lots of bubbles coming up. Looks like we're settling right around five. Let's try. Very good. Oh, that is low, isn't it? Yep, yeah, settling right around 4.6. And see this one. Yep, yeah, 4.69. Fairly low on the acidity scale. And Pellegrini are the last one to be. 4.48. 4 4 4 yeah. yeah. So having done that experiment for us, what is your analysis? Well, it is more acidic than you would say tap water, non-carbonated water, but it's not as acidic as say orange juice or some kind of other fizzy beverage that you might have at home. Our results were all below pH 5 which means these sparkling waters are at least 100 times more acidic than tap water, which is pH 7. And that's because every pH number we move down the scale, the acidity increases by 10 times, which means soft drinks like cola at pH 2.4 are nearly 40,000 times more acidic than tap water. But the big question, of course, is what does this mean for our teeth? My advice to my patients is when you're having acidic food or drink is to avoid the amount of time that it stays in contact with your teeth um, because you want to reduce the amount of opportunity that it has to destroy 
your teeth. And in fact, we've seen the headlines about sparkling water are very contradictory, some bad, some good. But is there actually good in drinking carbonated water? Low doses and not drinking it too frequently, sparkling water is absolutely fine. It doesn't contain sugar, so it, it's the best of the acidic drinks. If you're going to drink something with bubbles in it, it's the one I'd recommend. Not champagne? Uh, maybe on occasion, champagne. <laughs> well, I must admit, I do quite enjoy a glass of sparkling water, so it's been really good being reassured by Dr. Anoop that in moderation, it's absolutely fine. So, um, why don't I enjoy a glass now? Cheers, Angela. Yeah, I'm with her though. I like the champagne. <laughs> <laughs> I bet that Jennifer's got a good idea. I drink it through a straw so it won't harm my teeth as much. Now I don't know if she's talking about the champagne or the, or the fizzy water. That works for lipstick, both See? ways. <laughs> Thank you, Jennifer. <laughs>